Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Forex Technical Market Update for Wednesday, October 7th, 2015. Uh, in front of us, we have a chart of the euro versus the USD. And really nothing much has changed between uh, yesterday and today. We're still in a consolidation pattern. And, uh, and the markets, well, let's go back to the euro. The markets, I mean, it's up one day, down one day. Very tight consolidation pattern here uh, with the, the euro currency at the moment and the broader pattern uh, for those of you who didn't see yesterday's uh, update is that we're in a flag like consolidation pattern on the euro uh, going to the us dollar index we're clearly in a triangular consolidation pattern with some resistance up at this 96 50 97 level and support down at 92 and now we're looking for the markets to break in either direction. And before I go ahead, let me speak about the markets and how they move. A lot of people are, when you see consolidation patterns like this, get very frustrated with the market. But just remember, the market does not care if you want to make money. It does not care if you have bills to pay. It does not care if... if if you are frustrated with it, it really does not care. So in terms of, of how to trade markets, you have to adapt to what the market is actually doing. And you cannot get emotional about what the market is doing. So if the market wants to go sideways, what the, the, the approach you should take is not get upset with the market, not get frustrated with the market but wait until the next opportunity presents itself and that's how as a trader and the the methods that we teach here at aces trading it's all about following what the market is actually telling you and not what you want to happen or what you think will happen follow exactly what is happening and the markets currently are in a sideways uh, consolidation pattern at some point the market will break out of this consolidation pattern either to the downside or to the upside and then you have to be prepared uh, to react especially if you are a position or a swing trader the so and i have been say, i i said this because i was in discussions with a trader yesterday and he was he was essentially saying how frustrated he was about the market action and and to be quite frank, I've seen this this type of market behavior already. And you just have to just go with the flow with what the market is doing. Because the market, the folks who don't get frustrated, who do not, who do not get emotional and, and lose patience, are the ones who will stick around and make money. Because the markets will be here uh, 10 years from now, 15 years from now. And if you know what you are doing, if you equip yourself with the knowledge of how to navigate these markets and how to trade these markets, you will do well in the long term. If you do not equip yourself with the correct knowledge, then you won't do well in the long term. And it's it's really uh, that simple. I see folks who want to put very little into their knowledge of the markets and get a lot out. They want to... They, they don't want to invest in, 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 in educational materials. They think $100, $200 is too much to spend on education. Well, if you think $200 is too much to spend on a education about Forex or trading, then I can say trading is probably not for you because this is something that you have to be dedicated to and you have to put your all into if you want to get something out. It's a very lucrative market that you can make a lot of money, but you have to put in the effort. And that's essentially how it is for anything in life. If there's an athlete who wants to become a good tennis player, a good runner, he has to put, he or she has to put in the effort. And uh, that is just the, uh, a rule of life. Now, that 
does not apply if you play the lotto. So I guess that's the only thing. Or if you want to go and gamble and get lucky and win some money, that's the only thing you don't have put in a lot of effort to. So the Forex markets and the markets in general, just like anything else, you have to put in. And what you put in is what you get out. Okay, so the markets are still in a consolidation. And as I said, do not get frustrated with the markets, especially for you swing traders, uh, because eventually the market will break out of this consolidation. Uh, taking a look at the currency pair that is seeing some stability is the British pound versus the Jap Japanese yen. This is still in a very broad uptrend. And uh, this move down could be seen as a pullback within the uptrend now if the market breaks down below 180 or breaks down below 175 that will negate that analysis um, but it's kind of in no man's land now and you'd essentially want to see a close above the swing high near that 188 level let me just let me just uh, x zoom in if the market closes above 188 that would be fairly bullish for this market and we could move up to the 195 and 196 level so that is if we clear 188 which is 500 pips from here uh, we could see a move up to 194 so this is a potential move of over a thousand pips to the upside now to the downside if we do break below 180 and also below 174 uh, that would be fairly bearish uh, for this market. So this is a potential opportunity that's presenting itself, the British pound versus the Japanese yen. And th it will be helped if the Japanese yen actually breaks this consolidation to the upside. So if it moves to the upside, this is USD versus the Japanese yen. If it moves to the upside, that will give that British pound trade uh, some more legs uh, to the upside. Now, the market as i keep saying the market could well and move to the downside that's why you have to protect yourself and use stop losses and do not bet too much on any one particular trade okay the canadian dollar is pulling back it's closing below that 130 level that we're speaking about if we do get a daily close below this 130 level uh, we could see a greater pullback into 128 or 126 you can note that the market has broken this trend line and it's kind of breaking this these two trend lines that you can see here and last week i think i spoke about was i spoke about the the fact that the market was in a channel top like formation and these patterns normally end very bearish and you normally see pullbacks uh, when you have this this type of flag top in a market. Okay, so we could see this market move down to the 128 level or even 126. And maybe at 126, you may see some buyers come into the market. Taking a look at the British pound, we did briefly close below support in this 150 150 level but the market has exploded to the upside up to the 153 it's seen some resistance in this 153 level uh, but the the market is i would say generally the momentum of this market is still uh, slightly to the downside it's 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 negative uh, now if we do close above 156.50 157 that would be bullish for this currency pair um but this this i guess the british pound is waiting for clarity with regards to the dollar index so if we see the dollar index explode to the upside meaning the dollar rallies we could see a rally, a, a decline in british pound and a pound moving down to the 146 level if the, if the dollar I index breaks down and we could see the the British pound explode above 157 and and close close to this 160 region with the British pound. Another uh, market of interest I've been looking at is the gold market, where the market is in a consolidation pattern 
the market traded up to the trend line resistance uh, earlier this morning and we see the market pulling back going on the 15 minute chart you see how the market this is what we call a confluence of indicators the market went up to the daily r1 the daily r1 and this trend line was in close proximity the market saw resistance and collapsed to the downside uh, in in the gold market that is for the day traders out there that is uh, that would have basically been a textbook day trade if you like to get aboard these trading signals as uh, so we have some folks getting aboard the trading signals now because they recognize that yes the markets are consolidating but when it starts to move uh, our strategy will really start to pick up uh, you can click on the link below to get started uh, thank you very much for listening and i hope you have a wonderful day